As ferocious winds hit New Zealand, I grabbed a camera, a roll of film, a light meter, and my beautiful granddaughter. The plan was go for a walk, see what we could see, try and make 12 acceptable photographs. The Zeiss Iconta M, a bottle of meat's foot oil to give the bellows and the casing a clean up. A roll of Ilford FP4 Plus. Number one. Time to go for a walk locally, take my number one supporter with me, see if we can make a few nice photographs.
Let's take a shallow dip into the results. This first image, to be fair, I fluffed as I'd forgot to transfer the distance reading onto the lens. Likewise, the second shot of the tree. When I realized my mistake, I reshot both images. I'm pretty amazed that the first two shots came out as well as they did, far better than expected. This Maori themed sculpture stood out so well against the dark trees and the moody sky. You simply cannot beat good light on your main subject. This image is so sharp and chock full of good solid contrast, I absolutely love this frame. This old building always catches my beady eyes. In good light it looks awesome. Once again it's tack sharp and very contrasty. I love a good bridge. Hell, I actually live with one. This particular bridge with its graffiti is a magnet for light and shade. So happy with this shot. These two trees and a cow, in all honesty, were a panic shot. I had about 10 minutes of light left and five frames to shoot, so it just had to be done. It's well below average. The photographer failed, whereas the Iconta worked a treat. I love this shot of the old abandoned hospital. It's in great light. It does, however, have a light leak from the frame counter window. It's easy enough to crop out. Frame counter windows are a weak link. They're a real banana skin, be careful. This shot from the same location, just a different angle, was taken a minute or two later when the light had all but gone. This makes this particular frame a fail for me. A cheeky look through the old hospital window and overall I'm happy enough with this shot, but 10 minutes earlier, light would have been flooding the place. Definitely one to revisit another time. The last shot on the roll, no light at all, but a good subject. Definitely not a keeper, but again, the camera did a stellar job. Hand on my black heart, I love this camera. The look of it, the feel of it, the tactile nature of it, you have to think about every shot you make. No auto anything, it's you, the subject, the camera and the film. It really is such a good feeling to shoot an old, very old camera and make images that you're as pleased as buggery with. Until next time, thanks so much for taking an interest in my efforts.